What's up guys, Sparky Izzy here, and today I'm gonna go over Govee's permanent outdoor lights. All right guys, so before you install these lights, you wanna make sure you plug these into power and make sure that they all work correctly. They sell two kits. One of them comes in a 100 foot length and the other one comes in a 50 foot length. And they also sell external extensions that you can order, but you gotta make sure you have a kit first before you can add extensions. Before you place your order, make sure you go down in the description for a discount code. The power adapter for these lights are IP65 waterproof rated and the lights themselves are IP67 waterproof rated. So I decided to test that. Also note that these have added anti-UV material and working in climate weather from negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I let these dry for a couple days before I installed them. The 100 foot kit comes with six sets of strands and the total length per strand is about 16.4 feet. I decided to lay all the strands on the ground to figure out where I wanted to start the lights. These Gobi string lights are meant to install underneath the eaves and create a wall washing lighting effect on the house. Each strand has a start and end. You know the start of the strand is where the red washer is, and you know the end of the strand is where the cap is. So before you start sticking the lights up, make sure that the red washer is where your power supply is gonna go. And as you install more strands, the red washer is gonna be at the beginning and you're gonna end with the cap. The installation is made very easy by some 3M sticky backs under every light. And all you gotta do is hold it for five seconds to get it to stay. You can clean the surface with a cloth or tissues where you plan to install each light. Govee recommends installing the string lights about 5 to 10 centimeters away from the wall, but I ended up installing mine at around 24 centimeters, and that's because I have existing soffit lights and I wanted to make sure that the string lights wouldn't run through my existing lights. As you make your way around the house, you also want to install the included screw clips, and you want to put at least 4 screw clips per strand. When you get to the last strand, make sure you screw on the cap to make sure everything's waterproof.
After the setup was complete, I used some straps that I got from Amazon to clean up the wires a little bit, and I also used them to mount the adapter straight onto the fence. This adapter is outdoor rated. Also, I have it temporarily hooked up to an extension cord because I plan on putting a GFCI receptacle underneath this window. I installed screws on all the screw clips because 3M tape is the only thing holding it up, so I wanted to add the screw for extra protection so they don't fall in the future. Once again, make sure you go to the description and get yourself a discount code. You can use code SPARKYIZZY on the Govee website for a discount. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content like this. Sparky Izzy, peace.